Drake and really got to another level. Fake and he had EC3 on his talk show. The fact of life, that's a great get. He is the Impact Grand Champion, the first ever Impact Grand Champion. He won that title over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, they both have had some great contest battles, if you will. Put in on the conversation. Ooh. Via social media. Free in Aaron Rex. Hey, look at these four acts. All four men when they entered. Oh! Nice, nice drop kick there by when they entered the ring. Oh, and he's he free with a drop kick of the Drake and Rex got involved. He was the guest. And in fact, what, oh, it could be considered friendly fire. Hit it DC3 and every twist and turn in this comes he like Drake off the top rope and got shot right there. The legal man right oh! now. And Goddard's and EC3 and good day as Eli Drake set. Goddard's up for a clothesline. A cl get Eli Drake one way or another. Short arm reverse. And EC3 stops Drake here. And I'm saying, but with the quick tags being made by Aaron Rex, for Aaron Rex with the elbow of distinction. Fares well in tag team matches, but oh, sometimes opts to go at it alone. And Here's Aaron Eckbreaker. EC3, Eli Drake had to escape, and now it's Eli Drake with a sleeper hold. Here comes Goddard's, nearly took the head off a of fire right there. He was still power slam. And Goddard's is SC Goddard's tied up back and forth. They go, there goes Aaron Rex to the outside. Goddard's is not going to stop. Is out now, this develops. Breathing to get back in there and get his hands. Oh, oh. Here comes Jesse Goddard's on Eli Craig. Right off the of Aaron Rex. Oh, what a sh that shot right there. Just Jesse Goddard's. I've never seen anything like that. A knockout shot. Team of Aaron Rex and Eli Drake. Look, we've talked about the knockout shot ability. Oh. Ah. They lost me up until that part. They got me right back. Two, one. We've seen this. This is the second time we've seen this. Now again. And now these three men, they've got Robbie E. Oh, the ring just tearing apart. Robbie E as it moved. And Grado's in a bad way right now. Oh, my. the chip on his shoulder that's bigger than he is. He feels disrespected in the Qualifications. Back checkers out there, go back and look. Abyss at one time was an X Division champ. Go for broke, so certainly he needs to reserve his energy for the moment. And Braxton Sutter trying to fly high, and the big man's down. Here comes Mandrews. Mandrews body scissors into a bulldog. Nice pop pop band. Oh, oh, nice clothesline there, Oh, Junior. And if they did, they're gonna say it just like you did, so he cannot hear. By Mandrews, and Mandrews tried to dive in to make the was looking for. Ooh. And body scissors roll through, and there's the stomp. And DJZ. Look at this. Oh, and Abyss goes down. His corner, but he rolled the wrong way. Rolled back into the middle of the ring. Up. And there it is, Diddy Tam! Optum for a cover here. Spuds down. Go for broke win. DJ Z, Braxton Sutter, and Mandrew. Super fight. Lashley versus Eddie Edwards for the World Heavyweight Championship here next week. Title for a fourth time. This past Friday night, Lashley stepped into the octagon, failing to win the world championship the first time around. He didn't go. You will have the opportunity to square off one more time for this world heavyweight championship. La it's kind of funny how we have this little no touch clause in this contract. It's pain for you, and it's fun for me. Same thing that happens every time we face each other and made me jump through all kinds of hoops to get back to this title shot. Doesn't matter. Because this title right here needs to be on the shoulders of somebody that is credible. 
This title on your shoulder is a friggin' joke. JB knows it, these people know it, and I should get up and slap you in that stupid face. For his no, 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 JB, JB, I know, no, no, I know, I know. I know what he's doing. When I got home, when I got home and I walked through the door, my wife asked me, she asked if I was hit by a truck, and I said, honestly, that's exactly how I feel. She saw me holding this, the World Heavyweight Championship. You had the opportunity to choose your opponent, to pick your opponent, and you chose me. Why? Because you thought I was the easy... You know what? You're right. I underestimated Eddie Edwards. I did. I, and I made the mistake, and you got lucky. Lucky. This is not a movie, Eddie. And in real life, what happens is, you got lucky, now you're gonna pay. And I'm gonna take that title away from you, and I'm gonna beat you down. Guys, this is not a Rocky movie. I don't get my happy ending, and they roll the credits. No, this right here, this is my whole life. That's so why I'm signing that contract right now. Very confident Eddie Edwards signs the World Championship match contract. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Lashley, hey. Let me ask you a question. What happens if you sign that? What happens if once again I beat you? What or will they see you as Lashley, Eddie Edwards, bitch? Oh boy. Please, Jeff. Lashley has destroyed people. He's the unstoppable juggernaut of force, but has Eddie Edwards found to trade his hand perfectly? Or has the world champion signed his own demise? Ladies and gentlemen, with that signature, it is official. It signs your fate. Just like I did to everybody else. I'm gonna hurt you real bad and I'm gonna take that title away from you. You made a mistake. It's all about the world championship. For Eddie Edwards, world champion. Who will leave with all the gold? Holy neon green bins, brother Nero. Aren't you a little old to be treating or deleting. How old are you? You are yet familiar, but your costume is horrific. <laughs> Delete! Vera, I was under the impression that All Hallows' Eve was your favorite holiday. I how dare myself. I'll be right back. <laughs> Here on Thursday night, she's aligned herself with Maria, and now to Billy Corgan, you don't have to go through with this, but Allie ought to face Laurel Van Ness. Do you think it was a wise move for Allie? Do you think? You never know. She's been out here long enough watching Ocean and all of these knockout matches lately, but especially right now with Allie, you know, she's been picked up. Victim. Well, Laurel can head over to ShopTNA.com starting this. And Allie said, no, I'm going to stand up. This can be a big impact moment for Allie. You just have too much experience oh! for Allie to overcome. See what happens. Well, maybe she needs new bread. How? The point she did take. Look at the look at the intensity in the eyes of Allie. And here we go. A double leg. And Allie. Finally. Is all. It's got to keep her, oh, her head in this. She's not used to this, this type of competition. Oh. And to come in and pick up the scraps and secure a victory. Laurel Van Ness. Well. Look, simply put, what these two did last week was despicable. And Georgia, the team of Cody and Brandy Rose! Can't play. Oh! Tag team match rule. Strength displayed by Cody. Oh, goes front face with it. Oh! And a slap! Trying to... Cutter! Mike Bennett and Maria yeah. against Cody and Brandy Rose. Cody to the outside, now the referee's attention inside the ring, and Maria on the outside. America right out here in front of us, and Cody goes hard. Look at that. Loads Owen. Mike Bennett, countered, and now Cody. Ooh, collision in the center of the ring. But look at Maria. Maria's not going to let that happen. Keep order here. And oh, the ring goes low below. But she caught the miracle. Dives in, and here comes Brandy Rhodes, unbeknownst. Nowhere the hot. She's sorry. She'll be sorry, all right. And here comes Brandy. Brandy Rhodes with a clothesline. And a jump to hold. Takes up the miracle again. And now Brandy. 
Nice move there! Submission maneuver by Brandy. And the American Nightmare by Cody. Yeah, maybe forced to tap out. They both tapped out. What a victory for the road. The team of Cody and Brandy Rose. And Brandy Rose. What does the future hold? The <sighs> road. Nobody comes into my house without my permission.